coming? You want breakfast? Come on. Get your toy. Get Batty. You're not gonna get your toy? Let's talk. You know you gotta have your new best friend with you. Make you some food. Let me clean your dish. There you go, Tip. Water is getting warmed up for tea later on. I like to let it cool down. And for then, I have coffee chilling in the fridge. And this frother here isn't just for hot froth. It also has a cold setting right there. That little snowflake. That's not dandruff. Not a lot. I've been actually doing very well of not having creamer and sugars and this is the first time in a while of using it and there we go all right here's the coffee that i ended up making yesterday i actually forgot about it in the fridge and since it's there i don't want to make another cup of coffee so while that's getting ready that's going to be here chilling I went to the state so yesterday and then oh, eating his breakfast. Um, and today, after Carla ends up going to sleep, which is gonna be around 10, I'm gonna see what community yard sales are kicking off. There are some that are very close, about two miles away from me. And I asked Caesar if he wanted to go, but he's going out of California. So safe travels, my friend, to you and good luck to Manny. His son has a soccer tournament going on. All right, this just clicked off. And I already have the tea inside there. Usually I try to have the tea first before coffee. But I don't like hot, hot drinks like this. So I let it cool down just a little bit. Still the same tea. It's just the way I prefer it. Close that so it could steep inside. That's what makes it the best. And then this over here ended up working out. Nice little heavy froth in there. You see that? Ooh. Nice cold froth. It almost looks like a whip. Well, I guess it would be a whip. Oh. The cold cream frother setting works a lot better in thickness because it's cold and not so hot. And that ends up being more airy and light when it's on the heated setting. And one thing I always do too is always rinse this out before just leaving it there because it spoils and it could be really bad and create a lot more germs. Immediately, I rinse this stuff out. I may not completely wash it right now, but at least majority of that stuff will make it easier for me to completely wash later, along with a few dishes that I have. I just realized I took Carla's mug. Not like she doesn't have any to share with. I don't like to leave the froth so much on top sitting there. I like to have it blended in with the coffee. I just find it gross when it's like a gulp of, <laughs> of creamer and stuff. And although it tastes good, it doesn't it doesn't feel good. It feels gross, actually. Here's a little coffee cheers for everybody. <gasps> oh, I gotta clean that up. Here's a little coffee cheers for everybody. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that blended in good. Oh, that's some strong coffee. Oh, made my nippies hard. <laughs> Sorry, floor. Wow, that's some good coffee. Yesterday, I was getting into these and not until I actually pulled the eggs out to make the boiled eggs, Carla was saying, oh, use the one on the top where it doesn't have the open, where it has the open tray. I said, well, too late. I already touched them. So today I'm making sure that I use this one. These are older than the other ones. On top of that, get my tortillas out. Mi tortillas. Tortillas frescas. Another thing I also need... Is this one good? Yeah, this one's good. We got the Portuguese brand sausages, not the Redondos. The Redondos is in a deep freezer. All right, so I just cut off one of the ends and I wanna show you something here. Carla doesn't like when these end up curling up like a little cup. Sometimes uh, you might see your pepperoni little round pieces be like that. So what I end up doing is just stacking them up and cutting them, little slices into them. Easy three does the trick. Sometimes I overdo it with four little cuts in there. I am trying to do my best to cut down on carbs. And usually I have at least two tacos. But this time, I'm really cutting back on it. At least by one tortilla at a time. You know what they say about one tortilla a day, right? 
it keeps the bansa away. Just checking up on my boy Tip. He's outside enjoying the morning. Oh, he's like, I want to go inside now. You want to come inside? Did that bother your piece? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. How was your breakfast? Good? Let me go check on my tortilla. Just just the nice, perfect brownness on here. People may call it burnt. <laughs> Be careful with those air pockets. You can burn yourself. And that is good. That is good. Look at the sizzling of that sausage right there. Gonna get the two eggs from the leftover oil that's in there. And fry these up. I don't need any seasoning, salt, or anything, which is good because there already has plenty of it in there soaking. There it is, my breakfast. Portuguese sausage fried egg, it's packed of flavor. Perfecto. Mm. I've been working on my daily vlog channel and after two weeks of vacation and having some nice, peaceful time in Hawaii, visiting family and friends, sightseeing, I am back. I have goals that I'm gonna be going for. And along the way, part of the goals, I'm making challenges for myself to bring you along and share with you are gonna be, for example, today, I'm going to a community yard sale, see how well that goes. For every dollar I spend, I'm gonna do a push-up. For every $10, I'm gonna be doing a mile of cardio. That could be on a bike, a elliptical, treadmill, running outside. I need to get back in shape, but I also need to be making a lot more money to reach my goals on what I have planned for my future. So I'm taking you along with me. Back to business of working. I'm getting organized and clearing out my garage. I'm gonna do my best not to get distracted with looking at things and being amazed by it. It's wonderful. It is fun. It is such a weird feeling of satisfaction of things that you own and you know you need to clear up. There was a moment for a long time where I was saying, I'm gonna do this with that and I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna list it and I kept saying the same thing and the more me and my wife watch shows like Hoarders, I started to realize I can relate to a lot of that and I need to get out of it before it gets worse. I could see where it could go downhill very, very fast because there were things that were affecting our relationship with things that I was getting and it could add up quick, very, very quick, especially when you're not organized. I have so much hats here. Some of them you've seen before. I'm not gonna go through everything. So what I'm doing is separating the, all the hats. I'm gonna take them over to the storage unit, but all of them are gonna be boxed away as much as possible inside here and better than what I have them. So let's keep looking for more stuff. I already got a tote right there filled up. That's one I was working on from the storage unit. And then some more little box of goodies here, things that I know Omar sells and gonna be giving to them as well. It feels good to be parting ways, even with stuff that are brand new like this. I thought this would be a good purchase. And fortunately, after buying around, um, I think 11 of these Sephora cold body massagers, these rollers, I sold two of them. They got me within a few bucks of profits. And ever since then, the sales have been <laughs> dead. And then all this other stuff I had to decide, I tried selling before. Although they do sell, there's so much of them listed up now, like the bobbleheads that it's taking a while. So I'm gonna be donating these to a friend. But this here, we're gonna be having a little bit of fun. I am gonna be throwing this in the water and see how big it could grow. I don't know if I ever had one of these as a kid, which is why I picked it up at the thrift store for 69 cents, which is pretty phenomenal for a price. Although you could probably get these at a dollar store for a dollar or a dollar fifty, whatever the cost of dollar stores are now. I got two items to share with you, but I got much more to be listing today. Uh, yesterday I didn't list very much, but I got a good amount done uh, with meeting my goal of $300 a day. I found some more cool pants. I can't tell you how much of these I have, and I still have much more upstairs of jeans and pants of different brands. And when I get to them, I'll be sharing with them with you. Uh, these are marked on the tag right here. So these are on the pocket. The other one was on the inside tag. So like I tell you, look at the tags, look at the pocket. Sometimes the information is there. Um, and then there are some jeans that don't have any branding. And when I find those, I'll tell you more about that one. And those are some really good selfish jeans to look out for. But these radical cool pants on average go for around $40. So that's what I'm gonna be expecting. And be taking some photos of this soon and then getting them up on eBay completed today. 
Now these shoes right here are shoes that I ended up receiving from Crystal Van Ho about a year ago. I ended up giving her a gift and in return, uh, she ended up giving me something, um, I guess as a thank you. Um, she got these shoes, I believe her kids did, and then they didn't end up liking them. They did not wear them. Still brand new tags. They even had the little plastic uh, string thing that keeps them together. I just cut it off. But these are Ultima Maritime uh, mid shoes. These on average retail for around $130. Selling them on eBay, even though they are brand new, should get me around $80. And that's a pretty good thing already. So already over $100 right here. Now I need to go find some more stuff and get it up on eBay. When it comes to the measurements of pants, I like to add the waist, the leg inseam, and the rise. Sometimes every once in a while, the leg opening. Got some more stuff listed, as in these pair of boots, Dan Poe's boots. I got these at the Goodwill Bins some time ago. Don't can't even tell you when. I know it was last year, probably around October. It's been a while. Um, I just listed them for around eighty dollars on eBay. Very very good condition boots for those who are looking at bargaining, folks, and trying to find things like really quality good boots, apparel. Uh, electronics there's all types of stuff at the bins and it's amazing what you find which i'm going to be going more to i want to go to places where i could stretch every dollar as much as possible when you go to the bins it's a lot more competition because everybody's looking for something but there's always something that people miss out on or people don't know about that you could gain on with the knowledge that you acquire and accumulate over time so as i'm getting stuff listed um, I'm putting them in a place of like where I put all my shoes at the pants I got that in a general area of tubs over on the shelves and hopefully soon and soon I'm going to be having more space behind me over here for Carla to park her car with the things that I just listed that is over a hundred dollars and with the things here is going to be several more hundred dollars um, this is stuff that I got from a yard sale no uh community no a garage sale I guess the same difference. I got it from a yard sale along with some other things that I think some friends that are really into firearms might be interested in. So I'm going to reach out to them and try to do a bulk sale for a really good price. I paid $40 for the items that I got from the garage sale. <laughs> I'm struggling with words at times and that's okay. I like to show my imperfections and things that I struggle with because I used to not always be this way. I used to be very sharp and very well at conversing and applying sentences to explain myself. And then somewhere along the way with PTSD, I just started getting tongue tied and then I started having blanks. And then sometimes I end up stuttering and with memory loss at times, it used to really bug me to where going through therapy and really opening up to express myself with my wife, even though at times it's hard to understand what I'm going through and, and to say what's wrong with me. Um, I think she's understanding that I'm trying and it's not always about what she knows what people should do. It's never that easy. When you know right and you know how to do things fast compared to somebody that is facing challenges like myself and many other people out there in the world to just learn how to have patience. So she tells me I'm impatient. And sometimes when I'm struggling to say something, I tell her like, don't rush me. Let me speak my words because that's the way I express myself and know how to tell you what I'm talking about because we come from different worlds and we have different definitions. And for the stuff that's here, I'm gonna be getting this stuff listed and you can ch check out that thrift video that's gonna be coming up soon on my uh, thrifting channel. Here's that turtle turtle that I told you about. Look at that, it grows, it expands up to 600% more than this size right here. I wonder how big that is. <laughs> uh, I only got this space right here and I will tell you, I hate these guards right here, these uh, food stoppers because it has a lip and a rise on this that it, it doesn't actually have things like this, like food and stuff fall into it. I like the things that actually sit inside this little hole here, the little puka, um, and actually strain stuff rather than this. I can't stand this and I'm gonna order some on Amazon right now. I was wondering where I could find a tub or something and we could use a cooler right there. But <laughs> Oh man, I'm kind of dreading because I do have a habit of letting things sit inside here. So I'm wondering if there's any like old bags and busted up sodas and beers and brewskis. Uh, I know bird, right? It's like, don't do it. Uh, we're going to do it right now. Da, 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 da. Ooh. 
Okay, not bad. I mean, there's already water in there. It does not stink while I'm at it. I'm going to be cleaning this up. And from the last time I used this, folks, um, things like this that I have sitting around, I get to it. So this is one of the things that I'll be picking up after myself. And when things happen like barbecues and stuff, I won't be waiting till the next day or, or this long like this to be clearing it out. But since it already has water in there, we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right, let's see how big this is. This is my Burger King size hand right here for measurements. It's a very cool little turtle. I wonder if the details are actually going to remain in there and how the color is going to work out. So we're going to find out together. I wonder if it's already growing. 132, folks. 132. All right. We'll get back to you, my friend. Let's go put it in the trash over here. We'll be using you again soon, barbecue pit. All right, I'll leave that cooler open. Um, the barbecue pit, though, uh, I've been telling friends I've been wanting to do more barbecues and get-togethers, but it is something I do not want Carla to be dabbling in in any way. I want to be able to use reselling like I do for many things to support what I want to do. I don't say I want to do stuff and be like, babe, can you do it? It's not the way I roll. So... I'm going to be working on that as well. And with everything that I want to do, I don't feel overwhelmed. This is things that really motivate me. What overwhelms me is when I end up having too much stuff. And I don't feel that way anymore. I don't feel overwhelmed by cleaning up my mess. Kids, close your eyes because you're going to see or hopefully not see some profanity. This is an adult channel. I am not very big on talking about politics, religion, or using profanity myself, but I tend to use it from time to time. I just don't always do it and display it up on content because it's not the kind of platform I want to project out it there. But there may be a time that I do do it, and I will be more than happy to be speaking my mind when that time comes about any one of those topics. This is an embroidery bomber style jacket. This is the actual brand of this jacket. A-holes live forever. I ended up getting a message on eBay saying that people don't really welcome profanity on there and that to change some letters around replacing them with asterisks. Assholes for asterisks. It's kind of funny to me. Um, so this is a reversible jacket. Originally retailed at $300. Those are always like, ooh, that sounds good. How much money are we going to make? Sometimes not as much as you would like. But still, I paid maybe like a dollar for this along with everything else that I ended up buying at the garage sale. I got an amazing price. I didn't argue about it. I didn't fuss about it. I didn't give any extra money, which I've done in the past. Versable jacket. It's the same thing, just in satin green, embroidered. Has a puff embroidery on the front and the back on both of them. Sale comps are around uh, 40 to $60. So that scored big. And um, I got quite a bit of stuff to list, so I'm going to be working on that. It's now 248 I got the jacket listed. I got some Kohan shoes, wingtip, Oxford lace-up dress shoes. They're very comfortable, lightweight. They are size 8.5. I got them up on eBay. And then this very cool hat, uh, Patagonia hat, Live Simple. There is one, a unique one, that sold for $110 uh, with that Live Sim Simply uh, Patagonia on eBay. I love when I ooh, come across hats like that myself. Uh, now that I got these listed, I am going to be putting them in their place. Now, these are more of items I am working on finding more of, but it's never that easy. But today, I ended up finding two of them at the yard sale. And I'm going to show you these. And although you're getting a head start on a thrifting video, it's an entirely different experience. And I do recommend checking out my thrifting videos because it's been about a month or more than a month since I've shared those videos and I'm getting back to everything that I used to love until I started just getting overwhelmed with everything that I had. And now that I'm in a better place physically and in a state of mind, I'm excited about all of this. This jacket right here, when I saw this at the yard sale, of course, North Face is like, ooh, what is this? But I started feeling the puff on this and it has a really good puff to where I could literally feel the feathers inside there there's like little strands of things that you feel and sometimes it feels awkward for people and i always 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 recommend when it comes to jackets puffer type jackets is to look and at the tab and look for 
feathers right there. So 75% down, 25% waterfowl. Now that's the filling of the jacket. This right here often resells for around $60 to $110. Measurements is what I am banking on and quality photos of every little thing. Now that eBay allows more than just a handful of photos, you could put more handfuls of photos to, for them to see everything. On top of that, it still has a hood with it. Sometimes that gets lost in the sauce. And the size of this is actually okay. It doesn't even matter. All sizes sell. This is a women's jacket, very long trench coat. I'll be getting a full length of that as well. Very excited about it. And then I'm also excited about this one right here. This is a very, very good brand to look out for. Look that up yourself online. Look up that name. This one right here, a similar one, has sold for over $100. So I already had my $300 mark earlier. And now here's another $100 and close to $100. So I am good for now. It being $259. I am gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna knock out my push-ups here. Uh, for every dollar, like I said, I'm gonna be doing push-ups and for every $10 I invest in, I am gonna be doing a mile of cardio. So I am gonna be working my butt off and getting in shape at the same time as making a living off of things of what I like to do in the reselling world. I think I could knock out the push-ups uh, on one go, but four miles, it is not something I wanna drag on because that could tear you down especially when you're out of shape and that's my whole intention of why i made this challenge is to get in shape one of my favorite things here at the eels gym is not all of them have it but this one does it has the theater room so i'm gonna go inside here enjoy the movie and do the four miles Back at mi casita. Ooh, my my knees. <laughs> Not so much my legs or my back, but my knees. My knees are having a little bit of aching feelings. The turtle, I let's take a look at it now, folks. I'm hoping it is not a defective turtle. Are you able to see the turtle in here? Huh? I just went to the gym. I just went to the gym. You want to see what's inside here? All right. I think it got. A little bigger. Let's see. Oh, it's a little slimy. It's a little slimy. It feels pretty gross. Uh, but I, I think it's grown a little bit. That's kind of gross. Ew. Ew. Yucky. What you going back in? We'll check back on it tomorrow. What a beautiful day. It's like 82 degrees out. I am not done yet. I still have my push-ups. All right. I do got stuff in my pockets, but it's all right. Oh. I think one to grow on. Ooh. If I counted right, I think that was 40. Uh, the... Folks, on top of that, let's throw something else inside on this. Uh, if you want to help me get in shape faster, from now on, for every thousand views on my video within the 24 hour time frame, I'll be throwing in another mile. Or maybe I should let you vote. What do y'all let me, let me know what y'all think in the comments.